the past six weeks since I failed to run a marathon in under three hours have not been great. I've worked long hours, flown and worked abroad twice. My running has been, well, inconsistent. What I needed was some kind of break from work, from travel, and from Auckland. Something a bit out of the ordinary, something to get me excited about running again out in the wild, in the mountains, away from it all. What I really needed was a bit of an adventure. But it had to be something I could make fit with a weekend away with my family. And that was when Round the Mountain Track occurred to me. Lee and I set out from Oakuni Mountain Road at 4.30 in the morning on Queen's Birthday weekend. Well, I reckon we just get on with it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. through subalpine beech forest in the dark and then onto the scree slopes of Ruapehu as dawn broke. As the sun had risen and we'd been running, the vast volcanic wasteland of the mountain was revealed to us. Views up to the mountain, rock-strewn slopes, lahar valleys. This was just what I had wanted.
took us longer to reach Rangipo Hut than I'd planned. I'd started to feel fatigue and we were barely 18 kilometres into our run. Just a, a hint at first, but moving across the now frozen sand, ash and gravel of the Rangipo Desert was ever so faintly becoming harder. I felt a sense of apprehension that we weren't going to make it round. further it got harder. Bridges, rocky traverses, climbs out of lahava. Even as tired as I was, concepts of success or failure became immaterial. It wasn't that I didn't want to keep running, it was that I began to accept that the day was going to be what it was going to be.
had a wonderful time running through the mountains with Lee, but the stress of the past six weeks had finally caught up with me. As I came round to Fokapapa, I knew my day was over. But I was okay with that.